real quick. And we'll be right back, okay? Okay, cool. I'll Take right your time. Back. It's very, we'll just start it very casually. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna share this. And then I think we can go on Instagram and just like tell people to whenever we go live. Like here's the YouTube link. I don't know if we should, oh yeah, we can post the YouTube link. Do that if we want. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture. Oh my gosh, we this is happening. We are going live. We got some friends coming in to watch. So welcome everyone. Feel free to get situated as we are getting situated. Um, we suggest that you have a place to lie down. Um, so if you wanna move your laptop to a place where you have a yoga mat or your rug. Mandel, do you recommend the bed or do you think that's kind of like people might fall asleep? What do you think? Um, I think a bed is okay because if you're falling asleep on a bed, um, that is, I mean, to me, that's fine because that means you're going to learn a lot about what you need right now in the moment. Yeah, great. It tells you <laughs> the biggest message is, uh, you need more, you need more rest. Um, if you, if you're like freaked out about that, like about falling asleep during a meditation, um, feel free to lay on the floor. Um, I feel like you can't go wrong one way or another. You're going to be relaxed and you're going to be, you know, getting into your experience. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Thank you. So I'm on my phone. I'm just typing in to let people, our friends know on Instagram that we're going live now. Um, we're getting situated. I am here with Yumi Sakugawa and Mendel Lum, and we have a wonderful night planned for you of just grounding exercises, exercise to help you get into your body, into your soul. Um, and I'm so excited to share these gifts with you all. Um, yeah, we're gonna get started in about one minute. All right. This is Super crazy. <laughs> I just want to say that, you know, even through um, how insane that we're all figuring out our tools and they're all, we're all like getting so deep into um, self discovery and to self improvement. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, from the figuring out the technology tools to figuring out our wisdom tools. What are the things that we want to center around and Yumi Mandel and I decided that we wanted to center around the idea of I love you I'm listening I heard this in a meditation by Sarah Blondin and I just really love the phrase and I shared it with Yumi and Mandel and we were all just like oh that could be the theme of our of our webinar um, so we hope you enjoy the whole theme of I love you I'm listening to me has been an exercise of coming back to myself, telling myself I love myself and that I'm listening. Um, when there's so much more time to be uh, still, I feel like I have more time to even listen to my own heartbeat and to marvel at the fact that there are thousands and thousands of things happening within my body to keep me breathing blinking, processing, feeling, sweating, uh, digesting. Um, so it's such good news because we are definitely not alone in the whole process. Um, I want to start us off with a tune. Um, this song is called Black Sheep. Sarah has requested this song and she's been super patient. Um, and so I'd like to share this one. And I, the reason why I share Black Sheep is I never felt heard or like part of the crew when I was younger. I had this sense of being the outsider. And in a sense, I almost didn't even feel like I belonged to myself. And 
some of the exercises that we're going to do today have helped me access my own self and my own truth. Yumi here is actually the person that taught and encouraged me to meditate. And the thing that really inspired me to meditate, many people had told me to, but what Yumi said was like, it really strengthens your intuition and can help you navigate your artistry more. And me being in my mid twenties, wanting so desperately just to be a better artist, um, I decided that was the selling point for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Yumi. You're welcome. Um, this song is called Black Sheep, and then we're gonna get in and meet Yumi and Mendel and see what they have to offer. How's that sound, by the way? Can you hear that? Sounds okay. Yeah, levels are good. Sounds good. Thanks. Black sheep crying those rebel tears. It's a battle to survive. These old years, black sheep, you live up to your name. You've been told for way too long that you're the one to blame. You never mean to hurt yourself or anyone around you, but trouble's like a curse. Curse you didn't choose The house you're in is like a cage The walls are full of rage It's hard to breathe But hard to leave Look up, you're not alone You make a home of your own Every warrior grows from her battles and scars Still you know that I love you that you are take these sticks and stones and make a home of your own every warrior grows from her battles and scars don't you know that i love you the way that you are it runs deep it's insatiable that hunger to be seen and to be understood Black sheep, they call me that too. I've wrestled with the dark, but I've made it through, and so will you. Look up, you're not alone. You'll make a home of your own. Don't let anyone turn your unique into flaws. Yeah, you know that I love you the way that you are. Take those sticks and stones and make a home of your own. Every warrior grows from her battles and scars. And you know that I love you the way that you are. will be safe and full of light and space you'll finally breathe my dear black sheep look up you're not alone you'll make a home of your own every warrior grows from her battles and scars yeah you know that i love you the way that you are take these sticks and stones and make a home of your Every warrior grows from her battles and scars. Did you know that I love you the way that you are? Thank you, Paul. Oh, thank you. That was beautiful. Thank that was you. awesome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all right, let's let's do some introductions. Um, Yumi. Uh, Hi. 
yeah, can you tell us a little bit about um, how you've been doing? And um, well, first off, let's let's also go with like who you are. Um, and I, I I would like to intro you a little bit so that I don't put that burden on you. Um, Yumi Sakugawa is an incredible multidisciplinary um, thought leader, artist, uh, visual artist, and also an artist of the soul. Um, a sage that has found a way to alchemize her wisdom into these clever Instagram posts that are just life-giving and have helped me through this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I feel like I can go to her Instagram profile and immediately feel grounded and centered back into what matters. Um, and currently I'm using your, your wisdom as a, a huge source of inspiration for my songwriting. So thank you. Yes, <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks. Um, yeah, how, how have you been? Um, I think all things considering, I am doing pretty well for the most part. I certainly have my down days and I remind myself that, well, I feel like in the beginning, there is this weird collective pressure to turn this pandemic quarantine time into something productive. Um, there was yeah. that viral post that went around of, well, Shakespeare, he uh, wrote his plays during a pandemic quarantine. And my response to that is, well, Shakespeare didn't have a smartphone or the internet. Um, if he had the internet, he would be making really clever memes, the greatest <laughs> memes of all time. And if we all did not have internet, maybe we would be so bored that we would be um, making artisanal tables using wood and making candles. And, yeah, sculpting marble like Michelangelo, but we live in the 21st century in a much busier and more overwhelming world. And it's okay to have days where you're not baking or turning <laughs> your garage into a bar or writing your novel or whatever. I think actually this is the great, this is the best time to be unproductive as possible because we're so it's so overwhelming out there so maybe it's okay to conserve your energy to do the bare minimum and mm. to take care of yourself and to slow down and also if you want to be productive in a way that it makes you pleasurable do that too um but but that was a long aside to say that i feel like i have been channeling a lot of my anxiety into cooking mm. and I want to challenge myself to make more and more elaborate meals and eventually get to baking like everybody else in the world right now <laughs> and I just remind myself that even during this these strange unprecedented times there is still there is still connection. There are still relationships that are happening. One LA Times article I read really recommended that we use the term physical distancing instead of social distancing. I because agree. We're not social distancing. We're just physically apart, but our relationships are still very much present, can be very much present. Such a good and, point. And uh, I just try to find the mundane, beautiful moments as much as possible. I love that. I do oh. feel like, you know, I, I don't know how I feel about this, Mindel, and thanks for sharing, Yumi. I, I feel like there's so much closeness I'm feeling with my friends. I feel like I FaceTime with, with people I have never FaceTimed with before in my life. And it's actually really helping me understand which friendships are very valuable to me and very precious. Um, yeah, Minda, how do you how do you feel about all this physical distancing and navigating this n new normal it's uh you know i think a lot of people are going crazy like literally 
going bonkers crazy and for good reason because um you know as we're now in our like uh two or three i don't know four weeks into um all of this uh we're starting to settle into a new normal into a new pace of life and at the same time we're like but this is not how it used to be this is not like how it should be and we keep reminding ourselves of like you know through like social media and through um you know again like meeting all of your friends on zoom or on on um you know seeing them all on 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 internet sites or whatever but we keep seeing them all and we're like wow we keep reminding ourselves it's just how close we actually need to be to our friends <laughs> yeah um, and then there's that like sudden moment where you're like oh my god like i i don't like what is this i feel like i'm kind of out of control because of how different today was than it was like a month ago right and and everyone i feel like is is coming into a new freak out moment right now where if you had gone through like the stages of grief it feels like you're kind of restarting it all over again, or maybe that's happening multiple times. I feel that way. I definitely yeah. feel grief and cycles and every day is different. <laughs> One day I'm like, I got it this. It's, mm -hmm. and you know, and Mandel, you, you are a graphic designer, art, visual artist. You do animated art and visual art. And um, you have now walked this path of doing breath work and leading people closer to themselves, which I thought was so perfect to have to do this. I love you. I'm listening theme with you and Yumi, because I feel like breath work helps me return to this state of um, ground zero in a sense. Do you feel that way for yourself? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I've been doing breath work for, I say the better part of five years, um, like four and a half years or so. And it's been, from the very beginning, a way for me to tune into what was happening inside me. And, um, you know, quite honestly, as a guy who don't really have a ton of tools to access my own inner life, I felt like this was an enormous, like it was a, it was a door just swung wide open. Mm. And I noticed mm. that there were so many latent energies and emotions that I just didn't even know how to grasp until that moment. Yeah. Um, and that's just for me, you know, and, and that's also the case for so many other people who have been doing breath work, who had been doing um, this sort of introspective work. And, you know, I, I, I feel different today than I do, than I did like a couple months ago because of just how much progress I can get in, uh, in doing this practice. I'm really excited for you to lead us in this breath work. If anyone's just tuning in, we are going to have some meditation led by Yumi and uh, some breath work led by Mandel. And I hope you enjoy all of it. Uh, uh, if you have not meditated or done breath work, um, this is such a great time to try. We suggest that you have a place where you can lie down for the breath work. Um, Yumi, I don't know if you have suggestions for how people need to sit or be physically for your meditation, because we're going to start that first. I'm actually going to let you take take the lead here. Thank you, Milk. Um, to answer your question, you can do whatever feels most comfortable for you. I say the simplest thing you could do is to sit down in a comfortable seated position. And it doesn't matter if it's on a chair or on a cushion or on your couch. If it's more physically comfortable for you to lie down, you can certainly be doing that. Uh, I do recommend stillness. So some, this is something that I recommend that you're not multitasking. You're not cooking or washing dishes, you are actually consciously choosing to be in a still static position. So you can uh, listen to my voice and uh, dive deep. And for those of you who haven't meditated before, all you need to do is to listen to the sound of my voice. And unlike other meditations that I do, this actually will be coming with accompanying visuals from my book, 
your illustrated guide to becoming one with the universe. So yeah, all you have to do is listen to the sound of my voice. Think of it as a story time for your inner child. Um, but before we get started with my uh, visual guided meditation, I want us to just uh, just take a few mindful grounding breaths together, which I will lead. So wherever you are right this moment in the world, I want you to settle into a comfortable seated position. And if you feel comfortable doing so, you can close your eyes or you could just keep your eyes open at a soft gaze. Take this moment now to breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. As you continue to breathe in and out at your own rhythm that feels comfortable and safe for you, I want you to imagine that from the base of your spine, you're sending an energetic cord down through the ground, through the floor beneath your feet, through the foundation of the building that you're in. This energetic cord goes deeper into the earth through all the layers of soil and earth and rocks, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper being pulled down by gravity until it reaches the earth's center core. And as your energetic cord penetrates the earth's fiery center, I want you to inhale, drawing up the earth's grounding energy up to the lower half of your body. And as you exhale out, you can use this energetic cord as a trash chute to send down any anxieties, worries, to-do lists, stresses that do not belong to this present moment, sending it down to the center of the earth where it becomes incinerated. So let's do that for a few mindful breaths, drawing up the earth's grounding energy. And as you exhale out, sending down the earth, down to the earth, anything that does not belong to your present moment. Remembering to inhale into your belly, filling up your belly, filling up your lungs, feeling the bones of your body get heavy as rocks, drawing your body down towards the center of the earth, surrendering just a little bit more to the perfection and the safety of this present moment. Maybe you're relaxing your shoulders down, relaxing the space between your eyes, relaxing your jaw muscles, and clenching any tension that you're holding in your body. And now above your head, I want you to imagine that there is a big, beautiful golden sun. This golden sun is life affirming, revitalizing, energizing. And the sun gets bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter. You are feeling the warmth of this beautiful golden sun against the surface of your skin, waking you up, making you feel brave, making you feel alive. 
And as the sun gets bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter, I want you to set an intention for this time that we have together. What energy do you desire to call in tonight or today, wherever you are in this world right this moment? Maybe it could be a simple word that embodies what you desire to call in for this time, for the rest of this month, for the rest of this week. Imagine the word emanating its energy from your heart center. And now imagine that this big golden sun, it's cracking open like a beautiful egg and now it's golden yolk is streaming down your body from head to toe, relaxing the top of your head, relaxing the space between your eyes, relaxing your cheeks, your jaw muscles, relaxing your throat, your neck, your shoulders, your upper arms, lower arms, wrists, hands, fingers, relaxing your heart space, relaxing your stomach, relaxing your pelvic bowl, your hip sockets, relaxing your calves, your knees, your thighs, your ankles, your shins, relaxing the bottom of your feet, the top of your feet, relaxing your toes. Take this moment now to inhale through your nose. Exhale, loud sigh. Again, inhale through your nose, taking a deep breath, filling your belly. Exhale, loud sigh. Now do a few more mindful breaths, imagining all the other people who are connected with you by breath right this moment. And at the sound of my singing bowl, you can open your eyes, but before that, take a few mindful breaths in silence together, wishing safety and wellness and peace for yourself, for all beings also being present on this live stream right now and also for all beings on this earth right this moment. Okay, if you haven't done so already, you can open your eyes. And uh, now I'm going to read from my book, Your Illustrated Guide to Becoming One with the Universe. It's uh, one of my favorite chapters in the book, which is Have Cake and Tea with Your Demons. I think with the theme of I love you, I am listening, I think it is so important to first start with yourself and especially the hard parts of yourself that you feel is so hard to love. I think those parts especially need our love more than anything during these challenging times. Okay, let me pull up my PowerPoint. And I will get to this. Paula says she loved the meditation. Carrie Martinez says, thank you so very much. You are awesome. Yay. Isaac Mello says it was so wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, with this theme, I love you. I'm listening. Um, and as Yumi was telling us to close our eyes and to wish for peace and well-being for ourselves and for everyone else in the world. I got 
immediately sent straight into the heart and remembered exactly why we are here together doing this. There are a lot of people who are grieving right now and you may be one of those people or you may know someone who is grieving. So um, this whole this whole time together, let's just cultivate that positive energy for, for everyone. All right, Yumi, take it away. Can you guys see the Have Faith in Tea with Your Demons? Yes. Okay, awesome. Okay, I will start. Lesson six, have cake and tea with your demons. There are no divisions in the universe. The universe is oneness. The universe just is. So it is no wonder that many of us feel disconnected from the universe. When we shun our own darkness, our weaknesses, our anger, our sadness, our shame, our pain, we are disconnecting ourselves from the full spectrum of elements that exist within ourselves and the rest of the universe. We are not just light. We are not just darkness. We are everything. When we realize and truly embrace everything that is within us, that is when we can truly feel healed and whole again. So let us get to know our darkness, our demons that exist in the dark shadows of our minds, aspects of ourselves we feel most ashamed of. Invite your demon for a slice of cake and a cup of tea. So, how's it going? It might feel awkward and uncomfortable at first. Allow the demon to say what it feels like saying, feel what it feels like feeling, think what it feels like thinking. Simply observe and listen with a gentle intention to understand where your demon is coming from. Thanks for coming. Let's do this again. Let the demon say what it wants to say and then ask your demon to come back another time for more cake and tea. Nice to see you again. Schedule regular tea and cake dates with your demons. Sometimes your demon will give you something in return for your understanding and kindness, something you can only receive for having the courage to face your darkness. A jewel, a beautiful idea, a key to a secret place. And after a while, you may realize that for this whole time, your demon was afraid of you and was waiting for you this entire time. For your love, compassion, and time. Your assignment from the universe. Prepare different cake and tea combinations for your different demons, such as your sad demons, your unforgiving demons, your jealous demons, your angry demons. Once you have gotten to know a good majority of your demons, organize a dance party. And that is it. Thank you for listening. <laughs> That's awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, some people are saying that's their favorite chapter of that book. Um, Yay! Yeah. Thank yeah, thanks for reading that. I remember when I first actually met Yumi because of this book. I found this book at this bookstore named Giant Robot and then uh, tweeted about it and said, OMG, Yumi Sakugawa is awesome. I love this book. And then my friend decided to host a dinner to introduce us. So, um, yeah, that's a really wonderful way of kind of bringing us back to the core, to our soul, to our hearts. Thank you, Yumi. And um, I wanted to also offer 
if you all are enjoying this and you're in a place where you can give back um, and you want to do something, uh, we have collectively decided that there's a couple charities that we're going to offer for you to just directly donate to them. Um, we're just going to, we're not going to be able to track who donated what and how much, but I'm going to just trust that uh, we're going to be giving good energy to Midnight Mission. And there's another charity that is giving love back to small businesses in Little Tokyo. And so Yumi and Mandel, if you don't mind pasting those uh, links in the in the chat, that would be amazing. Um, Into the YouTube chat? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And as we do that, um, Yumi, what you what you read reminded me of a song that's not released, and I, I'd like to share that one. It's called Double Sided. I wrote this song with Duddy, Duddy Brown. <laughs> If I show you all of the scars that cover my skin If I gave you keys to the dungeon hiding all my sin If my demon reads your wicked head and runs her fingers through your hair When I look you in the eye I think I'm broken far beyond repair So what I'm asking maybe won't seem fair Cause you love me anyway Cause you love me anyway I'm tearing up this house to make it feel more like home. The only way I trust myself is when I'm alone. I know that I can be scary. I know that I don't fight clean. Now that you've seen the very worst of me, now that your picture of me is complete. Could you love me anyway? Could you love me anyway? I'm double sided, can't hide. When I try to fight it damaged and trying A lamb and a lion A woman, a child I'm tamed and I'm wild I'm asking this one thing of you Could you love me? Could you love me? Could you love me? That's awesome. It's like a light summer jam. <laughs> um, yeah, so your piece, Yumi, reminded me so much of that song. And actually, when I was singing it right now, I was thinking about, I wasn't singing to anyone but myself, kind of like when I see all those uglier sides of me come out. And then actually, there's a line of, I don't fight clean. You know, and then I was thinking about my boyfriend. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we were just talking about that yesterday, actually. I think when I get scared, I pick fights, um, and and I don't even realize I'm doing it. Um, and so it's a really humbling thing. I'm actually very, very excited and also daunted by the lessons I'm going to learn through this quarantine. 
because I feel like I'm facing so many sides of myself. Aren't we all? Wow. Aren't we all? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's amazingly deep because you know, I feel like that's, that's what everyone's going through right now. We're all mm -hmm. learning about ourselves. Yeah. So we have nothing else to do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I think we're also going to learn new aspects of ourselves that we really like that maybe we wouldn't have otherwise discovered if we hadn't gone through such a collective and individual challenging time. I agree. I agreed. Yeah. Here's to um, more, more love and light and growth for, for as many of us as possible. Yeah. Well, thank you, Yumi. Um, I would love to hear from you later just about what I love you and listening means to you. So uh, maybe perhaps after this breath work from Mandel, that would, we can do some sharing. So everyone just, you know, stay tuned. Also, if some of you are starting to like think about maybe clicking away from this because you're like, I don't need to do breath work. You've never done it before. It makes you a little nervous. Like, what a great time to get adventurous. Like, put on your Indiana Jones hat and um, let's go for an adventure. So, Mendel, why don't you take it away and, and okay. lead us down this journey? All right. Uh, I just want to fill everybody in on on YouTube right now, um, what it is that we're about to get into. Uh, breathwork is not a typical, what you would imagine your typical experience for meditation. Um, some of you have probably tried meditation through um, apps like Calm or Headspace. Some others have, you know, done meditation in groups with a, in a, in a, in a more structured system. Um, and with some meditation, it's all about just letting go of your thoughts and letting that stuff wash away. Breath work is kind of like the opposite of it. It's in a lot of ways, a way for you to tap into everything that you are feeling, that you are thinking so that you can finally identify it and work with it in a, in a, in a positive way. The way I always tell um, people who ask me uh, the way I always talk about it is that um, breath work actually taps into your nervous system, the unconscious nervous system that is your your fight or flight um, symptoms, your fight or flight uh, uh, aspects of your nervous system that just makes you want to seize up or just run away from your problems. Um, it taps into that and it actually lets you see it for what it is in a completely safe way, and then lets you finally rewrite your story. Um, I've done this for Yumi, I've done this for, for, for Milk, and I think both of them can attest to the power of being able to change and rewrite your story using this, using the, just the power of your breath. Um, so what I'd like to do is ask everybody to um, pull out either a yoga mat or some, or some carpeting or a rug and lay down flat on the ground. We're going to be on the ground for about 20, I'm sorry, 30 minutes. And we're going to be doing what's called an active breath, an active meditative breath for 20 minutes. And then we're going to cool down for 10. Um, during, that, during the whole time, uh, Milk is going to be playing some live music and it's going to be awesome. So um, we're going to be lying down. Yeah, there we go. We're going to be lying down. I'm going to invite you to lie down on the floor with us. And we're going to be doing what's called uh, a three-part breath. And the way that it works, and hopefully I can show you as I stand up here. Um, first, you breathe into your belly. First, you breathe into your belly and then you breathe into your upper chest, and then you breathe out. And then you do that calmly. You let that breath fall out naturally. You don't force it out. Um, you're just trying to breathe into your belly and then breathe into your upper chest and then let it go. It's gonna feel weird because it is a non-normal breath. 
um, but it's, you know, it's, it's part of the practice. It's going to get your energy flowing. It's going, if you believe in it, it's going to, it's going to unlock all your chakras. It's going to let your emotional energy flow and you may experience a number of things. You may be experiencing um, full body tingling sensations. Your hands might even cramp up like this. You may feel um, hot or cold flashes. You may hear uh, ringing in your ears. All of these sorts of things are normal, um, perfectly normal, can be explained by science. Even, even the, this feeling, which some, a lot of you may feel, um, at, that's a sign that your energy is flowing through your heart, that you're opening up your heart. And though it may be uncomfortable, it's just know that it's going to be okay. And if at any time during this practice, you feel, oh my gosh, this is too much. I can't do it. It's okay. Just return back to the normal breath, just yeah. your normal breath. And within a couple minutes, you're going to be totally fine. I um, suggest I that a, you come back. I got a question. After that. Oh, yes. sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, go um, for it. Uh, Carrie Martinez asked you, is crying or emotion? Mm. I think that's a question I think maybe is Carrie, yeah. You, yeah, is maybe asking what to expect. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell you right now for the past like two and a half weeks, um, I've been like two steps away from just bawling my eyes out. <laughs> and this practice will let those emotions bubble up in a, in a safe and constructive way, whether it be um, crying or, or, or yelling or, or anger or, or laughter. laughing out loud. <laughs> laughing is, is so, it's right on the other side of that coin, right? It's, yeah. it's right on the other side of, uh, of, of, of sorrow. Um, it, they may even come up at the same time for you. And that is absolutely okay. You are safe. This is a safe container. You are safe at home to, to release anything that you choose to release. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, uh, and, yeah, continue. Sorry, no, <laughs> keep interrupting. Yeah. I was just excited. Caroline Wong. Caroline Wong says, I'm proud of you, Mandel. Oakland's in the house. Caroline, you're the best. Thanks for showing. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. So great. Oh, great. Caroline, good to see you. Uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> um, yeah, what we're going to be doing through this practice, it's going to be a little truncated, 20 minutes of active breathing, followed by 10 minutes of a cool down. But 20 minutes of active breathing, I'm going to lead you into the breath. And we're going to go on a little bit of a journey. We're going to explore what I'd like to consider as the inner sanctum or the inner sanctuary. Um, that's a place inside your mind, inside your heart, that nothing can ever destroy. Nothing can ever harm this sacred special space. Mm. Um, and to me, this space houses all of the personalities inside me, including most importantly, and we're going to get to them today, the inner child. We're going to work on this space. We're going to build it up. We're going to fortify it. And then we're going to go meet the inner child. It sounds crazy. I know it does, but you know, this, you know, just, just, just go with the flow, you know, uh, let's, 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 let's try something new. If this is new to you. There's no and, better time to try something new. Oh right? yeah. So for all of you there feeling a little like nervous or very excited, it is all, all good. I'm really, really excited to see you all on the other side. Mandel has led me through this and it has, it has really, um, really brought me back to myself and getting me to that place of being able to say, I love you. I'm listening. Yeah. It's going to be very important. We're going to be repeating that a few times. Um, but yeah, let's get started. How do you feel milk? I feel good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to, so I'm going to be improvising some music on here. And, uh... Yeah. And everyone, let's let's get your space ready. Um, I've got over here some essential oils. I've got some incense burning over there. We're just clearing out your space. Sage is great. Palo Santo is great. 
make your space comfy. If you're laying down on the ground, don't put too much of a pillow behind your head. You don't want to block your air passage. Just a short pillow or just a, a sweatshirt under, under your head is fine. Yeah, so I guess let's, let's just begin. Let's everybody take a deep breath. We will get into the, into the three-part breath soon, but everyone just take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Hold it. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. A little more, a little sip more, and then out. Deep breath in. A little sip there, and out. Okay. Let's begin. I'm going to walk you through it. Remember, deep breath into your belly and then into your upper chest, and then out. Now you go at your own pace. I like going at this pace. To the belly, upper chest, out. Close your eyes as you lay down on the ground. Turning off the lights is really nice. Get your blood pumping. Gonna oxygenate your whole body. Keep it going. Keep the energy up. This is so new. This is very different. Am I doing it right? You're doing it right. You're doing it okay. Just continue breathing into the belly, into the upper chest, and then out. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for showing up to this live stream. Thank you for showing up for this weird practice you may have never done before. You're going to be okay. You're completely safe. Continue breathing. You can go as loud as you want. You can go as quiet as you want. You can be really loud and start yelling anytime if you like. about the neighbors. Just do you right now. Thighs and kind of shake your thighs a little bit. Just 
shake your muscles. Shake your knees. You feel tension. Notice where it is. Give it a shake and return to the breath. a little self-massage if you feel like you need it. I'm gonna keep going. Keep going. <sighs> keep going. Keep breathing. you all to imagine a place of nature, a place of nature that is just really the most beautiful place that you've ever been to, or maybe a place you've never been to. A place in nature, what are you imagining? Is it the ocean? Is it a forest? Is it a seaside cliff? Here, the the animals, the, the sound of the wind, really embody it right now in your mind. Here, you're gonna find your inner sanctuary, your inner sanctum, your inner shrine. In this place, you're gonna find it to be a, so beautiful that only you could have ever built this place. Notice the way the light shines through, the way the walls are sloped. See the awnings, see the material on the floor. Know that this is your sacred, your safe space where there may not be a safe space anywhere else, this is yours. And no one else can ever take that away from you. Reach for the door if you haven't already. It's time to walk in from this place in nature into your inner sanctum, your inner shrine. Notice on the inside, there is a series of doors. Each one of those doors will take you to a different personality that you hold inside yourself. Different people that you've loved, people that you haven't seen in a very long time, who perhaps have passed away. One particular door is your inner child. We're gonna go there. Do you notice what this door looks like? The shape of the door, what it's made of. What the, what the doorknob looks like, what the handle looks like. I want you to reach for it. We're gonna open it. And on the count of three, we're gonna walk in. On the count of three. One, two, three. You 
you may enter. Continue breathing, lower, lower belly, upper chest, and then out. Lower belly, upper chest, out. In this pace, in this place, what does it look like to you? Is it an old house? Is it a forest? Is it a playground? All the way, tucked in the back, you know that your inner child is there. You know what she or he looks like. You know exactly what age they are. When you're ready, walk towards them. Explore the space. Really embody it. Continue breathing. <laughs> Lower belly, upper chest, out. At your pace. What does your inner child want? What do they what do they desire? Do they want to be heard? Do they want to play? Do they want to be acknowledged? When was the last time that you've ever spent time like this with your inner child? Whatever they want, indulge them. Continue breathing. child might be feeling really scared right now like they don't know what's going on in this world or in your life it's like the world may be really unknown to him or her right now ensure them Ensure him or her that this space is always going to be theirs. That even though everything else might be unknown, your relationship with him or her is sacred, is safe. Ah, right around now, I want everybody to let out a big yell. I'm feeling like it's needed. Everyone let out a yell. Three, two, one. <sighs> as loud as you want, as loud as, as long as you want. Let out a big yell. <laughs> you may want to laugh because this is kind of ridiculous that you're seeing your inner child right now, but <sighs> right now, it's important to feel what this inner child is feeling to not push it away, to not ignore it. This is really good, this is so good. I can hear, I can feel the energy. My partner's in the other room and I can hear her too. I can hear, if you wanna cheer out loud, ah! because you're playing with your inner child, go for it. Take this time to indulge, to actually feel pleasure in your body. Maybe it is, even, even if it is just the pleasure of crying out loud, like it don't matter, like nobody's there to listen to you. Just go for it. Ooh, shake it out, shake out your, your arms. Right now, if your arms are feeling it, shake them above your head. 
Lift them up. Continue breathing. You guys are doing really well. You guys are doing really well. Some of you might be feeling that tension in your hands. It's okay. It's okay, tell yourself. I am safe to let it go. I am safe to let it go. I love you. I am listening. I love you. I am listening. Repeat after me if you are. I love you. I am listening. I love you. I am listening. How does it feel to hear that? Does your inner child like that? Do they like that you're paying attention to it, that you're acknowledging it, that you're listening? I love you. I'm listening. Continue the breath. We're doing so well. We're going to keep doing this breath for another six or seven minutes. So keep it up. You may be crying, bawling right now. Tell yourself, it is okay for me to let go. It is okay for me to let go. I am safe. Continue breathing. If you're afraid of being too loud for the neighbors, put put a put a blanket over your face and really yell into it if you want to. We're going to be here for another five minutes. Give it a little bit extra, a little more energy. Breathe a little bit, 5% harder, deeper. You guys are doing amazing work right now. We're clearing out the energy. We're letting it go. So this stuff doesn't have to hold you down in the rest of your life. On the count of three, I want everybody to give out a big yell. Put a, put a, 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 a napkin or a, a cloth over your face if you want to. Put your sweatshirt sleeve over it. But on the count of three, we're all gonna yell together. One, two, three. <sighs> Shake out your body if you need. Really let it out if you really feel it. If you aren't, it's gonna be okay. Thank you for being here, for staying with us as long as you have. Continue to breathe. We're going to be going. We're, we're, we're so close. Another few minutes. Give yourself permission to make as much noise as you want. If you aren't breathing, continue to breathe. We're almost there. Deep breaths.
Continue to breathe. You guys are doing amazing work right now. We're letting go of so much tension. We're letting go of trauma here. If your inner child needs to forgive somebody, this is the time. This is the time to call them in to say, I love you and I'm listening. If your inner child has ever felt like they needed to let go, this is the moment. Another couple minutes, you guys are doing really well. Continue breathing. Two minutes of the breath, another minute or so. You guys are doing amazing, continue breathing. You feel like you need to forgive anybody in your life right now for anything that they've done call them in and give them a hug wrap your arms around your shoulders give yourself a big hug here now continue breathing we're almost there <sighs> slowly transition out of the breath. You guys have done amazing work for the past 20 minutes. You don't have to do this breath, the three part breath anymore. Just breathe deeply, inhabit your body, breathe deeply. We're gonna be lying here on the ground for the next 10 minutes chilled out. Thank you for showing up for this practice, for this moment, for yourself. If you have to go right now, it's going to be okay. Thank you. I just don't recommend that you drive for a while, but if you do have to leave, it's going to be okay. Thank you so much. We're going to be all lying down on the ground for the next 10 minutes or so. While we finish up, I want you to say your goodbyes to all the personalities that you've met so far on this journey. We're gonna slowly return the way we came through the land of your inner child through the door leading into your inner sanctuary so that we can reside in your inner sanctuary and really give it some love. Thank you so much for being part of this. As we say our goodbyes to the people that we have seen, remind them this is not the last time we'll meet. I remember you now. And 
as we return through the door, as we leave the world of your inner child through the door, we're going to be back in your inner sanctuary. Do you see the walls, the columns, the way the light shines in through the window? Know that this is your safest space. Nothing can come here without your permission. I want you to repeat some mantras with me. Something that I've learned from my breath work in New York City. Please repeat after me. May I be safe and at ease. May I be filled with love. May I be filled with love. May I be deeply inspired. May I be deeply inspired. May I awaken and be set free. May I awaken set free. May I be safe and at ease. May I be safe and at ease. May I be filled with love. May I be filled with love. May I be deeply inspired. May I be deeply inspired. May I awaken and be set free. May I awaken and set free. May I be safe and at ease. May I be safe and at ease. May I be filled with love. May I be filled with love. May I be deeply inspired. May I be deeply inspired. May I awaken and be set free. I awaken and set free. May I be safe and at ease. May I be safe and at ease. May I be filled with love. May I be filled with love. May I be deeply inspired. May I awaken and be set free. May I awaken and be set free. already return back to your normal breath we're just going to be chilling here
Come on, look me in the eye. See everything that I survived. See my history is deep. That's what makes me me. And I'll do the same for you. Tell me about what you've been through. When we've been down in the mud, we know better than to judge. Don't mistake my confidence for arrogance. Don't mistake my self respect. For disrespect, cause it took me years to turn these tears from what I had to go. Yeah, I work for it. I'm proud of it. Falling, dying, sorrow into power. Pain is beautiful. Oh, when it makes you grow, turn these tears to go. Oh. I lay my hands on the world and I say, tell me where it hurts. Everywhere that I can see, somebody's trying to get free. And if I put myself first, don't mean I kick it to the curb. I want to shine bright and you can shine bright and we light up the sky. So don't mistake my confidence for arrogance. Don't mistake my self-respect. For disrespect, cause it took me years to turn these tears from what I need to go. Yeah, I work for it. I'm proud of it. Doubt and doubt and sorrow into power. Pain is beautiful. Oh, when it makes you grow, turn these tears to go. Oh, sorrow into power. Pain is beautiful. When it makes you grow, turn these tears to go. Turn these tears to go. Turn these tears to go. Hey, hey, hey. Turn these tears to go. Turn these tears to go. Hey, hey, hey. Turn these tears to go. Turn these tears to go. And now, thank you for joining us. If you haven't already gotten up, you can wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers to wake up your body. Give your bit of a give your give yourself a little stretch. And when you're ready, turn yourself over to your right hand side. And when you're ready, grab yourself a glass of water or a cup of tea or something refreshing. And, you know, I think, I think that was an amazing, amazing experience. I was having so much fun 
doing all of this. I don't know about all of you in the comments, but uh, I hope that somebody out there, you know, let go of something, let go of a lot of big things. Thank you for showing up. And thank you, Milk, for amazing, amazing soundtrack. Thank you. That was wonderful. I love, I love um, being able to play with you. It's really fun. And, and I, I know that there's like some audio quality issues with Zoom, so um, let us know how that went and if you could hear some of the music. Um, but thanks, Mandel. It's so great. Thank you. Thank you all for showing up. Yeah, let's read some of the comments. Someone says, what are you doing? Are you making a song? <laughs> <laughs> we were just doing some breath work for any people like tuning in in the middle of it. I was improvising music as Mandel was leading breath workshop. Um, and I'd love, to, we'd love to hear from you all. There's someone who says shaking, Kuan Yin. Hi, Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin, shaking is normal. It can feel that way because that's your, that's your fear. Like your fear makes you want to shake, you know, your fight or flight. Uh, uh, the part of that part of you wants to like shake because it's, it's so scared, but nothing's happening. We're, we're safe. We're here to release. So it's normal. It's okay. You're safe. And um, my brother's on here. Yumi is back. Woo. Hey, Yumi. Um, let's see. John Wheeler says, thank you so much. Um, Thanks for joining, Mr. Wheeler. I still call you Mr. Wheeler. It's my psych teacher from high school. He is in the house. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, that was amazing. My first time doing breath work. Lariah Williams. That's awesome. Um, Chloe Hamilton says, Dan, that was rad. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining. Oh, Kim says that she cried so much, too. Um, That's so I mean... It's weird for me to be like, yeah, you're crying, but like at the same time. But yeah, you're crying. Uh, but yeah, you're crying. <laughs> I feel the same way every time I hear about people crying when they meditate with me. Yay for crying. Yay yeah. yeah, for crying. Yumi, did you follow along? I did. Um, I, I've i done uh, breath work with you, Wendell, many times. Um, I didn't fully go into breath work mode. Um, for this one because I knew I was probably going to be a crying mess and not be able to join <laughs> rejoin you guys afterwards but I did follow along with narrative and I I love it every single time and for those of you who have not done breastwork uh before or are just joining in I just cannot recommend it enough as a healing modality I started last summer with you Mandel and yes. uh, it's truly changed my life. So I'm just so grateful to you for sharing this process. And I can't wait to continue this for the rest of my life. Yeah, me too. And Mandel, I think um, you're doing every Sunday. Yes, you're. Yeah, that's true. Um, on you follow me on Instagram for all the information. Um, breathing underscore QI. Um, but I've, I'm, I've been doing these sorts of things every week for free, donation-based. Like, I understand these are hard times for a lot of people out there. And this is my, this is something that I've been meaning to give away. And I'm, this is my chance for doing just that. Like, I'm, I'm fulfilling my own, my own destiny here. Mm. Um, so but every Sundays. week on Sundays. Yes. What time, Mandel? Uh, typically, when do I Maybe. usually do it? I've forgotten. <laughs> when do I usually Some, do it? Sometime in Sunday. Uh, like, one o'clock, one o'clock okay. p.m. PST, that Great. is Pacific Standard Time. One o'clock on Sundays, uh, I do it online. Uh, I use a platform called Crowdcast, but there's links on my Instagram that'll send you right to it. And uh, it's, it's donation based. You can put in zero dollars if you need to, or if, you, if that's what you need to do. I do not take it personally. This is my gift. Awesome. and. Um... So I'll be taking advantage of that, and hopefully you all will be as well. And Yumi has started these mindful drawing parties. Um, do you have a schedule of, of when you're going to do the next one? 
Yes, thank you for asking, Milk. Uh, so last Wednesday, I facilitated my first uh, virtual mindful experimental drawing party. So for a two hour window, I invite everybody of all levels and experiences to draw. And I offer some light mindful drawing prompts for people who want to do drawing prompts or if you just want to do your own thing and draw whatever you want you're certainly welcome to do that and uh last time over 700 people signed up and there were people from all over the world who were part of this drawing party and afterwards people got to share on the hashtag mindful drawing party their drawings and what they posted and so i'll be doing another one this Wednesday um, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. PST and the registration link is on my Instagram profile at Yumi Sakugawa and it's free and donation based. So you can join wherever you are in the world and the theme actually is Tea with Demons. So the drawing prompts will be centered around that, meeting your demons, drawing them, getting to know them, sending them some love. And so I'm really excited. I hope many of you join. That's awesome. So for That's those cool. of you just tuning in, and uh, Mendel has a uh, weekly breath work on Sundays afternoons and early afternoon and then Yumi has from 3 to 5 PST on Wednesdays um, a mindful drawing party and Yumi also holds a lot of different webinars and they're incredible um, so check those out um, a lot of you I see in the comments are here for Mendel and Yumi and me and we're just so grateful that you all are here um, and um, Carrie Martinez says, thank you all. I lost you all for a moment. That was so deep, very deep. Thank you for your time and support. Um, so let's all close. You know, it's been a beautiful 90 minutes. Um, we have a good crew of people here joining us. Um, let's just go around the circle and m maybe what does I love you, I'm listening mean to you after tonight as you feel in your body now? Um, and I can start as you all think. Um, I love you, I'm listening. I think the beautiful thing about collaborating with people who move my soul and who inspire me, helps me understand that like, I, it just is a really big honor to be able to watch the audience members and Mandel and Yumi do the work to get in touch with the self at this time. And so um, I'm just really in awe of how everyone is trying to do the I love you, I'm listening. And for those of you who, who may be struggling to get there, how wonderful because you're trying. Um, and for me personally, every day is a different day. Sometimes I'm better at listening to myself and loving myself. Some days I'm not good at it. And it's a nonlinear journey and I'm ready for it. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. How about uh, you, Mendel? So, uh, for me, I love you, I am listening. Um, and this kind of ties into what I do as an artist, as a visual artist. Um, I love you, I am listening is my message to myself and my inner shadow. Because my inner shadow is a big voice that speaks from my, like the deepest, darkest places in my psyche. And I love you, I am listening, is me telling it or him that he's worth something too. That it's not like he's some big bad monster and I'm trying to kick him out of the house. I'm not trying to kick him out of the house. In fact, I'm trying to welcome him in with open arms to incorporate that deep dark shadow even into my light bring him and me into the light. Um, a lot of the art that I do is all about me exploring uh, that shadow. And you know, if you find it on my Instagram account, um, but I've been doing a lot of exploration into what it means to be, um, what it means to be, ex you know, to be exploring the dark side. Um, and that's not to say that's, that's, that's all I have to offer. Um, 
I'm both light and dark, as 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 Yumi so so eloquently put in her book. Um, I'm both the brightness and the darkness. So, to me, that's what it's all about: is to acknowledge all sides, and to give the whole darn thing a lot of self love. Mm. That should be a sticker, a bumper sticker, to hold, to give the whole darn thing a lot of love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mendel. Yeah, that's some merch right there. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> um, how, how about you, Yumi? I think when I think of I Love You, I'm listening, to me, it's about holding space. And something I learned over the years is that when people are voicing what they're going through or problems they're facing or challenges that they're going through, my initial instinct used to be that, oh, I need to rush in and offer advice, make myself useful. But I realized uh, more and more that uh, more often than not, than not, the most compassionate thing you could do is to hold space without rushing in, trying to fix the person or trying to fix the problem. And this also applies to yourself where sometimes what we need most is just a listening ear, non-judgment, and there's no rush to fix it. It's really just, hey, I'm holding space for you and I hear you and I am validating that what you're going through is, is real and it's, what you need to feel right now. It's what you need to experience, uh, no matter how messy the emotions are. And, and also something that I reach to do every day is to um, even hour by hour to just ask myself, uh, what do I need right this moment? What feels, what would feel good for me to do right this moment? And, and that is an exercise in listening to your inner child and stopping to listen to the answer. And more often than not, the answer is really simple. It's, I need a cup of water. I need a nap. I need a snack. I lie need down. to lie, lie down. down and do nothing. <laughs> and, and so I encourage all of you to do that. To, to just ask yourself hour by hour, what do I need right now? Mm. Great advice. Perhaps that's a wonderful way to close this. I can't thank you both enough, Mendel and Yumi. Thank you, thank you, thank you for honoring me and everyone with your wisdom and your gifts. Um, perhaps tomorrow or today, whatever time zone you're in, every hour just check in with yourself and ask, what do I need? and give yourself a little bit of what you need. You need to lie down, lie down. You need to go outside and look at the sky for a second. Don't, do, don't go too far, but you know, just open the door and check out the <laughs> sky. Um, I love you, I'm listening. Thank you so much for you all for listening and watching and for loving us. Any other closing remarks from you beautiful peoples? This has been like an amazing roller coaster. My heart's been thumping out of my chest for the last 45 minutes, <laughs> an hour and a half, even since before we started recording. Um, it's been like, it's been so crazy just being a part of this experience. I want to thank both of you, especially Yumi, because you led that beautiful um, meditation. And that just like, that got me to sink right back in. And it got me ready. So uh, thank you so much for holding the space for creating this environment. Mm. Yeah. My pleasure. Um, and I want to add um, also thank you to both of you for being such beautiful humans. The world is so blessed to, to have both of you in this lifetime. And I'm so lucky to know both of you as friends. Um, what I want to add as a closing remark to all of you is 
maybe ask yourself, how can I make quarantine as fun as possible? Um, I think uh, as a creative person, we're all creative people. I, I love limitations and restrictions and working with that. And so maybe, mm -hmm. maybe just mm -hmm. ask your inner child, well, we're in this quarantine shutdown pandemic for a pretty long time, probably a couple of months. So how can I, how can I make this fun for me? How can I make this interesting, unique, challenging situation as pleasurable as possible? And maybe there are only certain pleasures and fun things that can only happen because you're in a quarantine, because you're in self-isolation. So ask yourself that and see what happens. I like Wonderful. that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, let's just all close with taking, um, let's take three deep breaths and holding after you inhale. And so just inhale. Ready? Holding for four, three, two, one. Exhale. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Feel free to put your hand on your heart. Inhale. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale. Breathe at your own pace. And perhaps, maybe even hear your heartbeat. Feel the pulsing of your bloodstream. Thank your heart for beating since the day you were born. The moment you took your first breath into your thank your lungs. And thank yourself for showing up today and for sharing space with all of us. Thank you. We love you. Have a wonderful night, everyone. We love you. We love you. We're listening. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank we you love you. We are listening. Us. Thank you. I love, I love you. you. And check out the comments. I think some people have written some stuff for us. So. Uh, I'll, I'll jump into the comments after this. Okay, cool. Yeah. It disappears okay. after like a minute. So. Makes sense. It'll be exciting. Okay. Bye. Bye.